All right, so let's start. First thing, derivative. Okay. So I want you to write down this definition. A financial instrument, derivative, a financial instrument which derives its value, which derives its value based on the value of based on the value of underlying asset based on the value of underlying asset okay so for your part 1 syllabus in fact overall we are going to look at four major types of derivatives the first one would be forward contracts the second one would be future contracts third one is options and the fourth one is swaps okay almost 20 to 22 25 percent of your syllabus is focused on option related areas because later on when we go to subject 4 in valuation models then we have to learn different valuation techniques for example we have to learn binomial we have to learn black and scholes then we have to also learn option greeks and we have to learn option strategies okay so if you are good with options almost 1/4 of the paper or 1/5 of the paper you will be able to solve confidently we will first uh, start our discussion with in fact in series forward markets are mostly otcs otcs is over the counter and over the counter means that you would want two people to meet interact negotiate and then finalize a contract and therefore what you need here is dealers so these are the middlemen who would help you execute forward contract very popular in case of currencies okay so a lot of uh, big big ticket currency contracts happen in the case of forward contracts future contracts are exchange traded and therefore you would be interacting with brokerages here now tell me options are these are these otcs or are these uh, exchange traded hmm? options are both okay so options have a lot of types in them so they could either be otcs or they could also be exchange traded and how about swaps yes. swaps are mostly otcs except certain types of swaps which are also available these days on an exchange but in most of the cases they are otc contracts okay so let us start discussion about more about forwards and futures let's try to make a list of differences between the two so differences between forward and futures so we can make a simple table the first obvious distinction that we already know by far is that these are otcs and these are exchange traded the second difference is that the middlemen here are dealers where here we have brokerages now think of it this way that this forward contract are more customized based on the requirement of users okay whereas the future contracts are always standardized so more customized contract versus standardized contracts now since they are more customized and they require a dealer to give special attention therefore we would generally have very high amount of transaction cost okay so the cost to enter a future contract would always be lesser than or in most of the cases lesser than cost to enter a forward contract so these will generally have low transaction cost
now tell me is there a possibility of having a default in case of forward contract yes yes because the counterparty the other party could always say that they are not willing to exercise anymore and then it's simple legal contract where you go to court and sue them which means what we have here is default risk default risk or also called as counterparty risk same concept default risk or counterparty risk do we have any such risk in case of future contract can there be a default no default risk and why is that so yes because you take security deposit from the participants isn't it so if you want to enter into a future contract you have to give some amount of deposit to the participant which is called as margin money okay so you have to deposit margin money in case of futures but no margins in case of forward contracts here in no risk below that you write down that counterparty counterparty is clearing house okay this concept is important from your exam perspective that counterparty is clearing house all right what does it mean every exchange will have think of it as a part of this exchange is a clearing house so what clearing house does is that it becomes for example i am the one who wants to take long okay uh, let's say arun wants to take short so that clearing house would become opposite party of both the sides and in a way it will help you from that default risk because from both the sides it, they have taken margins so if there's a default they'll simply withdraw the money from the margin and give it to the other party are you following this so therefore that default in a way is guaranteed or not having default is guaranteed by clearing house of the exchange that's the innovation going further now and now very very important point that they are relatively illiquid and these are liquid contracts and a point which is connected to the earlier one both these points I'll give them 3 stars mostly settled mostly settled by cash or delivery mostly settled by cash or delivery however mostly settled by entering into by entering into an offsetting contract mostly settled by entering into an offsetting contract can you help me understand the third point what does it mean pankaj correct will offset each other perfect yes see it works like this let us say i have taken long position on a forward contract the contract price was 60 okay long position which means i have a right and obligation to buy long position means right and obligation to buy on the expiry date let's say 3 months from now the price of that underlying asset has become 70 there are two possible ways in which i would settle the contract one the short will pay me 10 rupees the benefit that i have that would be called as cash settlement or second i will pay 60 rupees to short and he would give me that asset worth 70 rupees again a benefit of 10 which is called as delivery are we clear should i repeat again yes no yes see this is this is long this is short the first settlement is cash settlement okay this is long this is short i have a right to buy at 60 price in the market 
डू आई हैव अ बेनिफिट बेनिफिट ऑफ हाउ मच टेन रुपीज दैट शॉर्ट विल सिंपली कम एंड गिव मी टेन रुपीज दैट्स कॉल्ड एज ए कैश सेटलमेंट द सेकेंड सेटलमेंट इज आई विल गिव हिम सिक्सटी रुपीज एंड ही वुड गिव मी दैट अंडरलाइंग एसेट बट दैट अंडरलाइंग एसेट इज वर्थ हाउ मच सेवेंटी एंड दैट्स हाउ आई हैव अ बेनिफिट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डिलीवरी सेटलमेंट Are we clear? So, in case of forward contract, it could either be cash settlement or it could be a delivery settlement. However, in case of future contract, it works slightly in different fashion. Okay, so all these futures are traded on an exchange. So, let's say I have taken a long position at a price of sixty. On the day of expiry, that future contract would be worth seventy. So now I would initiate a short position at seventy. a long position initiated offsetted by 70 short position i will book my profit of 10 rupees so instead of doing a cash settlement or you doing a delivery you simply exit the contract by entering into an offsetting contract are we clear yes no should i repeat again clear theek hmm? hai offsetting contract means if you have a long that means write an obligation to buy you can square that off by taking into a short position right an obligation to sell so if you have a long and if you take short position squared off so your position is zero this is called entering into a offsetting position of the contract it is not a cash settlement because technically you are not entering into settlement with other party see it's like this let us say in the morning i go okay so this is nakul here and uh, this is first sandeep okay sandeep here so sandeep initiated a short position okay nakul took a long position at a price of 60 now nakul does not know who was the short seller on an exchange you don't get to know who was the other party but nakul currently has a long position that he is agreed to write he is agreed that he has got a right and obligation to buy at a price of 60 3 months from now okay next day this future contract by itself which is an asset is trading at a price of 70 okay the price in the market has become 70 so what nakul came and he said now i want to take a short position on this contract write an obligation to sell when 2 months and 29 days from now to whom to some ex party we don't know that party as of now but now what has happened is nakul took a long position and a short position so 2 months and 29 days from now he will buy at 60 and he will sell at 70 so in a way he has been able to book his profit of 10 today itself this is called entering exiting a contract by taking into offsetting positions you would understand more when we go into specifics okay we'll go forward now now we will have different participants in the market different participants in derivative market okay which kind of people would like to enter the market so the first set of participants for whom the original idea was coined are hedges the second set are speculators and the third set of participants are arbitrages okay who are hedges what is the meaning of hedging to cover the loss no to reduce the risk absolutely to mitigate the risk is called hedging a very simple example let us say you are a soybean mean soybean oil manufacturer okay so you buy soybeans in the market and at the market prices and then extract oil out of it and sell it in the market now you are concerned you received a big order or you expect to receive a big order 3 months from now but you are concerned that what if the prices of soybean increase so you can go and buy a long contract where underlying asset is soybeans and then you know at what price you would be able to buy so this is called hedging followed hmm? i want to mitigate my risk another example let's say an it company expects that 3 months from now they will receive a revenue of 5 million dollars but they want revenue in indian rupees which means they have to sell us dollars so they can enter into a contract where they know at what price they will be able to sell those us dollars in indian rupees again hedging clear 
now the problem with imagine a system where we have only hedgers in the market we do not have speculators and arbitrages i'll come to them who they are so imagine an indian scenario where in foreign currency market we have a very big it industry and everyone is receiving revenue in us dollars or pounds or euros and they want to sell and take rupees now the question is if everyone wants to sell dollars then who would buy from them right and therefore these people are extremely important in the market which are speculators so who are these these are simply they do not have a risk and they do not want to mitigate it they would enter the market to take some risk and in order to earn some profit an example would be let us say that i feel that prices of soya bean will decrease substantially in the market so current price let's say is 50 rupees a kg my view is that within 3 months it would become 20 rupees a kg so i can go and take a short position on soya bean contract write an obligation to sell at 50 in 3 months when the price actually becomes 20 i get to earn 30 rupees per kg right so generally speculators are the ones who provide liquidity to the markets and that's why very important part of the markets and the last one are arbitrages who are these people yes the ones who try to earn riskless profits you know for example let's say there are two exchanges in a country on one exchange the price is 70 the other exchange price is 60 what these people will do is they will start buying here and they will start selling here when they buy the demand will increase and the price will increase when they sell supply will increase price will decrease and that's how they bring an efficient pricing system in the market have you good hmm? so three participants hedgers speculators and arbitrages next point of discussion is open interest tell me what is what does it mean ritesh you don't know it okay ha huh, arun open interest no you know it yes the total number of contracts which are available in the market as of now say now when you buy shares of a company let's say infosys okay so these shares are issued by whom shares by issued by whom company itself so if a company issues 1 lakh shares at any point of time the number of shares available in the market is 1 lakh right and then let's say if arun sells one share and i buy one then it's it's said to be volume is 1 volume means number of transactions so when he sells and i buy it's volume 1 when let's say i buy five more shares then volume becomes 6 this is volume in case of derivative who issues option contracts of infosys exchange correct no yes the options are issued by you and me option writers the forwards are or futures are issued by the ones who take short position they are not issued by the company so when i decide to take a short position then only you can come and take a long position otherwise if there is no one to take short how will you take long isn't it so open interest means the number of derivative contracts which are alive in the market at any point of time so we'll do an example to understand this better let us say narendra in the morning came is it okay narendra and he decided that he will take short position on five call options okay now let's say these are purchased by me ab theek hai now is happy so this is me here and i purchased those five call options so i have taken a long position the moment that happens open interest in the market is now 5 because there are five options in existence in the market as of now let's say next day i had a heavy dinner so i come to market and i sell my five options 
so i'm going to sell i had long position that means i had purchase so i sell my five options okay to let's say pankaj now so now those options are owned by pankaj what is the open interest in the market what is the open interest in the market still 5 because the number of options in existence are still 5 following this now sandeep came into picture and sandeep took a short position on three options and that is being sold let us say to arun so arun purchased those five or three options so now the number of options which are available in the market is 3 plus the earlier 5 so now open interest becomes 8 have you followed are you following what's happening the number of options which are available in the market at any point of time how many options five issued by narendra originally which has been purchased by utkarsh and then pankaj here and three which were issued by who was this guy sandeep yeah so three issued by sandeep so in total the number of options which are in existence in the market is 8 so open interest becomes 8 however the volume is more than that assuming this is happening on the same day so a transaction of 5 a transaction of 5 and transaction of 3 volume is how much 13 however is open interest is only 8 clear now on the same day assume that this original narendra goes to the market and he buys two options from let us say arun Okay, so Narendra originally had a short position of five. Now he's taken long position of two. That means he issued them and he bought them back, isn't it? So open interest reduced, and now open interest is how much? Six. So if I issue, it's like this: option writer or seller is also called creator. So if I create five options and I float them in the market. and these are now circulating and i later on decide to buy back two of them so which means i have effectively created only three now so if an option writer buys back the option that reduces open interest but if other people are buying the options in the market then it will not reduce the open interest are we clear here so the same concept is applicable to future and same concept is applicable to options okay short option writer is always short you were there last level 0 last evening level 0 okay any questions you want to ask on this topic how do, how do we track that say so i'll show you we can make use of some internet sorry month because it gives you some so you still you still left with one working day that that's a different question let me finish the video then i'll come to it No, no, we don't need live market. We anyways don't have live market today. What I need is option chain. No match found. Where? In live markets. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take equity. Hmm. All right, so we have option chain here. Do you see this OI? That is the open interest change in open interest. On the left hand side we have calls. On the right hand side we have puts. Here, so there are calls and puts with different uh, strike prices. You would understand that later on. Don't worry so much about that. But just look at this data, which is important. Okay, so I'll show it to you here. 
the open interest in this option as of now is 201450 which means 201450 are the number of options which are in existence in the market as of now okay and change in open interest is minus 31000 which means open interest has reduced by 31000 compared to previous working day okay and that this data has lot of significance for trading purpose because once you learn to understand how to read this numbers then it gives you tremendous power to decide what is the view and direction in which the markets are moving okay but in your program we would be doing in depth analysis on these later on as we go to next for the level of readings reduce means the ones who must have issued the options also purchased back so short people must have taken long positions 31 150 here sorry Thirty one minus these are the number of options which are available in the market, which is different than volume. These are the number of options which are still alive. There might have been more number of short, but as of now, only these positions are available. Okay, and three one thirty one thousand one hundred fifty is the reduction in that number. that means that those people who had originally taken short position they took long position squared off that's why open interest reduced by 31150 so when a short takes long position open interest reduces and when a new player comes for example we have a positive open interest here let's see on this side we should have some positive increase in open interest changes in open interest yeah we have a positive open interest here can you see this that open interest has increased which means more people came and they took short position so the more and more short positions you take open interest is going to increase have we clear 